In my last video about zoom transitions, I utilized a clip that I made in Google Earth Studio. And in the comment section of that video, I got an overwhelming response to create a tutorial about Google Earth Studio. I just wanna say that I'm still a beginner at using Google Earth Studio. There are way more resources out there that are better at this program than I am. But if you wanna learn how I made that clip, let's dive right into it. Here we have Google Earth Studio. It is web browser based. If you've never used Google Earth Studio before, you'll need to apply for permission to use it. Once you get that permission, you can use it. We have a couple options. You can create a blank project. You can open a project from before. Or what I like to do for a beginner like myself is use quick starts. The great thing about this is they have pre-made animations for the camera movement. There's a zoom to orbit, fly and orbit. But the one that we're looking for is point to point because I'm going from Las Vegas to New York. So I'm going to click that and hit start. This is the opening screen and I need to type in the first location. That first location would be New York, New York casino in Las Vegas. It automatically takes me there. I'll use my mouse to find the frame that I wanted to start on. I'll hit next and I want to fly to Times Square in New York. I'm just using my scroll wheel to zoom in and my second time that I'm on camera here is about where I was standing. So I'll just scroll right up into that spot and hit next. If you were looking to showcase the distance between two points and you wanted to utilize that zoom transition, well, here it is. You just use a point to point and go from one point to the next. We can change the duration of how long it takes for this transition to happen right here. We can add more points by hitting this plus sign, but I'm all good to go, so I'm gonna hit the check mark. Here's the normal working area. At the top, you have your play bar. Right here, we have the camera. Over to the left, they have what they call attributes, so you can change your camera position. If I scroll down, we have the camera rotation as well. To the right, we have all of the keyframes and our playhead. For the time being, if I just scroll through, you can see how those keyframes are manipulating the camera. This little bullseye that you see is the camera target, and that was set up by us typing in these two destinations. The only thing missing from this transition at this point is the camera movement once we get about here, going through the city streets and then hitting Times Square. But if you're looking for a nice, quick and easy, simple way to do a transition from one spot to the next, that is the way to do it. For the remainder of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I move the camera through those city streets to ultimately end up at this spot. Now you could keyframe all of this in one project, but personally, whenever I try and do that, I always mess up the camera angles and things get all crazy. So I'm going to circumvent that by splicing two projects together. I'm going to render this project, and then when the camera gets to about right here, I'll start a new project and manually do my keyframing for my camera so it goes through the city streets. But let me show you how to render this. You click render, we'll call it hit that like button. You must attribute Google Earth in your exports. You can't take that off. So once I hit submit, this will send it to the cloud rendering and I can continue working on my second part of this project, which is animating it through the streets. So I'm gonna hit submit. <laughs> Submitting, hit that like button to cloud rendering and voila, I can start creating the second portion of this transition. So I'm gonna go to file, new, blank project. I'll do through the streets and I'll hit start. This is a blank project now. And instead of having the search bar down here in the beginning, now what we need to do is go up here to the corner and I'm going to look up Times Square again. So we start off in the same position and I'm gonna move my playhead to about 300 and zoom in to the spot where I want the camera to end up, right here. So I'm gonna use my mouse Put the camera to this spot and we can add keyframes to all of our attributes. Then I'm gonna move my playhead to zero and I'll zoom the camera all the way out to where I was talking about, right about here. And then I'll create another set of keyframes. Oh, our render is already ready for that first file, but I'm gonna to continue to work on this one. I wanna to move to about right here. And if you see that your keyframe is yellow, that means you haven't added the keyframe, meaning if I move the playhead, it automatically gets rid of all of that camera movement that I just did with my mouse, which is something that I didn't want at that point. So I'm gonna move it down a little bit and then I'm gonna say add keyframe. 
highlight all of these, right click, and I want to ease into it. So as we get closer to it, I want it to slow down into it. I'm gonna go to the change viewport layout, go to two. Now we get this really neat looking top down view and we can actually look at this from different angles, but for right now, I'll keep this in top down view mode. Now move the camera a little bit so you can see. And what I wanna do is move the camera along this diagonal road through these buildings, cause I think that will look really cool. Kind of like a Spider-Man going through the city, but you're just going voo, 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 through those buildings. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna pull it along the road so I start to get myself set up correctly. And you can already see that the camera is somewhat starting to follow the diagonal line. The next thing I wanna do is get the camera lower quicker so it can dip down into those buildings. To do that, I'm going to switch my view so we could look from Cardinal North, South, East or West. But what I wanna do is maybe look at it from over here on the East that way. So I'm gonna look from the East and hopefully you can see that Here's the camera coming down like we're looking at it from the east. Let's get the camera down by like right here. I'm going to create another keyframe. So now what I can do is bring it in on a curve. We just gotta manipulate it so we get a good landing. So let's see what we got so far. All right, so it's gonna take a while to get to the spot, which is okay. All we gotta do is now move my keyframes in so our whole transition is faster. Whoa. All right, we need to keyframe our camera so it is looking at the point across the city. This is really easy to do because we can create a camera target. All I need to do is right click it and say set camera target. And now what we've established is wherever the camera is, it's always going to keep its visual on that target. So now we approach the city and it's almost going through the street how I want it to. I'm gonna switch this back to the top down view. All we gotta do is look at our line and start adjusting it. So we go along the pathway create a keyframe and I want to move that keyframe along our city street. So we almost got it. Just a little trial and error here. Oh, I think we got it. So I'm gonna hit render on this one. And now that I'm inside Premiere Pro, I'm gonna find that spot where it starts to move, create my cut, delete, and move the camera until it gets to about right here and delete the rest of it and bring in my second clip that I just created. So, can't really tell the difference. Once I speed up these clips, it'll zoom, boop, go straight into the clip. For this first clip, I'm gonna change the speed duration to something like 150, bump this speed up to about 146. I kinda like that, like it, it overshoots and then it's finding the spot. All right, so I'm gonna put both of these together, bring in my initial clips here. I've already shown you how to do this zoom transition out in this zoom transition in on my previous video. So if you wanna learn how to do that, I already covered it in my previous video. This video is all about the Google Earth transition. What I might do though, before I show you, is I'm gonna nest these two together and then I'm going to add my zoom transition preset in and out to it. And now we have a transition like this. <laughs> Man, that is so neat. If you wanna check out that video where I showcase the first part of this type of transition where it's just zooming the actual footage, I'll have that on the screen right now. Don't forget to hit that like button if this was helpful. My name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.